Hello everyone, the Pokemon Fan993 here, back with more Pokemon Shining Pearl. During the last episode, we made our way past the gym leader, and then we decided to take a little scenic route um, south of Sangan Town to explore this little area here. Oh, damn it. I think I already did it again. Okay, get your breathing in order. Okay, you're ready to go. I'm not swimming, dude. You're trying by Swimmer Vincent. Swimmer Vincent sent out Pelipper. I still like that throw animation for the swimmer. That's cool. Drizzle. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. So, um... At least... In OU for Showdown and maybe some other places too, the ability Drizzle in this game is actually banned in terms of the VTC, which which a phrase stands for v, virtual, virtual Game Championship. So if you play a game called Unite or not Unite, Showdown, if you went to OU, you wouldn't be able to use Teleport with Drizzle. It just wouldn't be allowed. Which Drizzle is a actually move that several Pokemon learn, but Pelper is the most common among them. And basically what Drizzle does is it gives water type Pokemon a boost in power in terms of water moves. It allows the ability Swift Swim to double a Pokemon's speed. And allows a few other effects as well, such as um I'm trying to think of like some of the other ones, but that's the only two I could think of like right off the top of my head. Damn a wish cat, that's pretty nice. Wow. Kelly's Pokemon are getting tougher. Blow a little higher and he managed to survive that shot. That shot. I'm sorry, but that swimmer just looked like he used a Kamehameha for Dragon Ball Z. I gotta see if he did that again. Can I, like, purposely miss this shot? Nope. Well, maybe I'll find it to one of the other ones. How to restore a little bit of HP with a Shell Bell. Real good, level 41. HE by 2, attack by 1, defense by 2, special attack by 1, special attack speed by 2. Rio wants more than move discharge. Um, I think that's... is that stronger? No, it's not. Good move, though. Dread level 41. HE by 3, attack by 1, defense, special attack, special attack, and speed by 2. Dread wants more the Shadow Ball. Nice. I'm glad I kept the Shadow Ball I got from that one place, because now I can just teach it without using one of the TM. <sighs> I forgot Hex. And we're in Shadow Ball instead. Sheriff could level 42. Issue by 2, attack by 3, defense by 1, special attack by 2, special defense by 1, speed by 3. You did Swimmer Vincent. I let my momentum falter. 696 for winning. Hmm, another tentacle probably. Double Wingle. Which I did the pre-evolved form of Pelipper. Gonna run from it, we don't need to fight it. Let's head this way first. Assuming there's anything over here. Oh, oh, that's the water, that's kind of a- I like that ripple effect. It, like the, it shines off the sun, that's really cool. It's funny the most interesting, the most <laughs> graphically impressive thing about this game is the freaking people in the water. Water Pokemon can contain a great variety of shapes and sizes. I'll show water Pokemon that I picked for myself. Um, I'm not sure if this is a well-known fact or if it's a, just an obscure fact, but I think there's actually more water Pokemon in the entire Pokemon series than any other type. If we're talking maybe single types, maybe, but I mean I think we had like at least nine to twelve in the first Pokemon game alone. Might be over exaggerating a little bit, but Exodore. Aqua Jet, that lets him hit first. Aqua Jet looks pretty cool in this game. It almost looks like the uh, anime representation of it. The uh, series. Which is strength because I have more of that to finish it off. Rock Smash, I don't think we do enough. 
Gotta get the bunch of HP back now. Yeah, nice. Tower below 41. HP by 3, attack by 2, defense, special attack, special defense by 1, and speed by 2. Tower below 42. HP by 3, attack and defense by 1, special attack by 4, special defense and speed by 2. You feed Swimmer Vanessa. I can't boast when I lose. I'm so disappointed. 792 for winning. Do we, is that, am I, yeah, I can't go any further than this, so I have to go back the other way now. Ooh, a tent of cruel. I'm actually gonna knock this one out because that's gonna give me a decent amount of experience that I didn't get to stage two Pokemon. Assuming I can. I should be able to. Maybe even take one more strength. Give me four on that, guys. Sorry about that, I had to open my window because it got a little warm in here and I think my sneezing was caused by it being stuffy in here. And a girl plays it. And Tyler got a bunch of HP back. So here in a bit, I'm going to start looking up, because I think after the 7th Judge, you can get a, the Dust Stone, which allows you to evolve Mr. Vest into Miss Magius, which is probably going to be a must for the League. I am actually curious, though, if you swerve with another Pokemon, does it change to that Pokemon, or is it just always D-Barrel? Dang it. You can't encounter a Pokemon like this over and over again. There's a Pelipper. Maybe worth knocking out. Stage 2 Pokemon. Ice Beam. Let's take one more shot. Spit Up. Ah, uh, how do I spit? Okay, so Spit Up um, has two other moves that works with it. One's called Stockpile, and one's called Swallow. Essentially, what happens is, is that you stockpile and you increase your defense, special defense by one stage. Um, depending on how many you've stockpiled, you can use Spit Up. The more there is, the more damage it does. It, it does a damage depending on how much you stockpile, right? And then it lowers your defense back to normal. Swallow does the same thing, except that instead of healing or instead of hurting the opponent or the people around it, it actually heals the Pokemon for a certain amount, depending on how many it stockpiles. Making it a very interesting, probably one of the more interesting moves in this entire game. I need it. How do I get up there? Oh, over here. I bought a new bikini. It's this year's newest model. Dun, dun. You're channeled by Swimmer Claire. That'll Bweasel. Versus Dread. Dread is actually probably now my weakest Pokemon in my party, but um, that'll change sooner or later. Aqua Jet. Didn't do anything. Shadow Ball. Let's see how that looks in this game. Okay, pretty similar to how it looks in the other ones. I bet the, the, the ball of it to be like clear, though, or like darker, you know what I mean? It's kind of clear. You paid Swimmer Claire. Shh. 744 for winning. Thing of you have a nice bikini. I'm gonna mistake by the bikini, it's a little too tight. Ooh. Anyway. Me having my perverted mind on for a second there. I was taking that literally. Um, keep going. On your mark, get set. You're trying to swear, Eric. Gyarados. Versus Dread. I'm coming to lower my attack step, that's not going to matter too much. So I want to reconfirm this. If he attacks, if he like, looks like he's just a Kamehameha, because it definitely looks like it. The last time I saw him do it. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's trying to do that. Or like an energy ball or something. Yep, that's enough to knock it out. Worried at first because Gyarados is a strong Pokemon, but... 
You defeat Tumor Eric. Ow, wow, wow, wow. My leg cramped up. 244 for winning. It's getting annoying. I'm gonna have to run a repel, I think. Let's use Repel real quick to stick it in this pocket. Yeah, let's use a max Repel. Well, does it look like I'm swimming gracefully? Don't know, dude, you weren't moving for very long. You're challenged by Swimmer Dylan. Shallow. Versus Dread. Shadow Ball. Almost one shot at it. Harden. Lord, increase defense to one stage, but that's not really as helpful here. It's my opinion, it's not. Shall I think that? Gastrodon. Shadow Ball. So I, I just now like was questioning this here for a second. Does Gastron have like two eyes that close and then the third eye is just there? Because I could swim when I attack him, he only closes two of his eyes. Maybe his eyes don't close at all. Hard to see. He'd be a slower Dylan. Finally, feeling fatigued. 768 for winning. What are you? It's on a bottle of protein. Raise attack by a few points and EVs. What else is around here? Oh, looks like I finally made it to the main mainland. Hey, I like fishing, but my true love is battling. Maybe you should be an ace trader that's not a fisherman. Fisher Cory. Magic Carp. Versus Dread. I'm guessing one of the other Pokemon they have is probably Gyarados. But Simon should be enough to knock it out. I don't think it has very much special defense. Yep. Gyarados. They score my attack by one stage. Not that it matters. Shadow Ball. Special defense spell, I think. Yep. The next Shadow Ball will knock it out for sure as long as I don't die. Or Dread doesn't die. Whirlpool. Make it so the Pokemon gets trapped, they can't switch out, and it basically just causes a little bit of damage every turn, depending on percentage damage. Basically. One, two, three, face. Gyarados Satan. Gyarados Satan. Dread with a low 482. HP by 2, attack by 1, defense, special attack, special attack, speed by 2. Oh, yeah, there's another Pokemon, Finion. Seems like I want to say petted. Shadow Ball. This should knock that one out as well. You see Fisherman Cory, or Fisher Cory. Hooch. 1,280 for winning. Whoops. Alright. Let's see what else is around here. You found a jar of honey. A lot of jar of honeys in this game. Uh, what's up here? I can't really see very well. Oh, cottage. I have to go the other way, it looks like. Is there anything over here? Yes, the par jar of pure incense. Um, I figured what that does.
Pokemon held by Pokemon that keeps the wild Pokemon away if the holder is ahead of the party. Okay. Well, the Crash are meant to use another Max Repel. I thought today's number is 16. Some Pokemon that's level 16, you're in our, in our reward. Do I have a Pokemon that's level 16? Nope, I have one that's level 18, but that's not good enough. Oh well. So I guess you come here and he gives you rewards every day. That's pretty cool. What's this? What else for me? Black Belt powers up fine type moves. That's what powers up moves they're super effective. Focus that's bear if it's one hunt KO if it's HP is full. Okay, so you can get those items, that's pretty cool. Oh, you intend to beat me? I'm an ace, you know. And I'm 10, what the hell does that have to do with anything? Ace Trainer Shannon. Cherim. So Cherim actually has two forms. That is basically its normal form. When it's sunny out, it becomes its, its uh, sunny form. And I think it gets stronger too when it does. But there's no sun out, so Ice Beam will knock out one shot. About to use low punch. That's an interesting one. Bubble Beam. So the attack gets increased because of its plate. Still not enough. Use Mirror Coat. Ooh, that's bad. Jeez. So those who don't know, Mirror Coat actually does double the damage inflicted to the... Oh, damn it. Okay, well, Philly's gone. It's the first time I had Pokemon knocked out. So Mirror Coat does double damage if the, Pokemon, if the Pokemon got hit with a special attack during the same turn. And always make the user go second, too. That was actually quite brilliant. It said that not any gym leader can just take out my Pokemon, but somehow that will put any can. Rock Smash. Charm. Towards my attack set by one stage. Two stages. Being Rock Smash probably will knock it out now. Ace Trainer, this one's pretty smart compared to some of the other ones I faced. Will Plenty faded. Kata's getting a little HP back. Kata's a little 42. HP by 3, attack by 2, defense, special attack, special defense by 1, speed by 2. Kata wants to wear the move Night Slash. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, let's get rid of Rock Smash then. That's a pretty good move set, actually. Night Slash instead. Kata's a little 43. HP by 3, attack by 2, defense by 1, special attack by 2, special defense by 1, speed by 2. About to use Meryl. Fortune Meryl is part fairy, so the only one that's going to do a decent amount of damage is going to be strength. Sorry, feel a little, some little HP with the shell bell. Out. That's a slight problem. So, balance on the first turn, it bounces up and then it hits the opponent on the next turn. That's a flying type move, so I should switch to somebody who's not going to take too much damage from it. Cutter's is low in HP anyway. Rio's gonna take this one. Which means they ain't gonna do much damage. Flying type move. Thunderbolt. Done. Meryl faces. it. Rio with level 42. HP by 3, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed by 2. You feed Tra Ace Trainer Shannon. Let's see, I just concede defeat. 2312 for winning. Tell you that you faint the first time I have a Pokemon fate in a while. I am gonna heal, but I wanna see if there's like a any place I can heal before I just throw a revive on uh Tilly. Grab these berries. The reason I'm growing and replanting berries is because you can use Pokeblox in order to help you with the Super Contest, which um, I believe can get you items and, of course, uh, ribbons and stuff for your Pokemon. Which might be useful. Find a Citrus Berry. Two a Papa Berries. And a Grappa Berry. 
We need to water this. Wired all four of them, nice. I'm gonna use another one, yeah. It's on a TM81 Exidor. Might as well just a couple of moves here. The fact that it's not, they're all not organized, it's bugging me a little bit. I wish you could more better moves for Kara though. Oh, there's something here. Uh let's use a revive. At least the revive itself on um Pilly. We got Warren Trainer to fight here. He would consider me an ace trainer. Let's demonstrate the skills that earned me that title. Let me demonstrate the skills I need. Which one, my Ace Trainer Jake? Ace Trainer Jake's to out Staravia. Versus Pilly. Frilly. Intimidates and warm my attack by one stage. Ice Beast. I should one shot it. Hazard level 43, HP by 3, attack and defense by 1, special attack by 3, special defense by 2, and speed by 3. The Rapper. Baldi. Yeah, what I should have done when I fought that low plan here is going for Aqua Jet after I used Baldi the first time. That's what caused Pilly to faint. My own fault. Clear with low 482, HE by 3, attack and defense by 2, special attack by 3, special defense, and speed by 2. You feed Ace Trainer Jake. I'm burning with jealousy over your raw talent. 2,244 for winning. We're getting Ramanus Park right. I wonder what you can do there. So Ramanus Park is basically a place you can catch legendary Pokemon and get Pokemon from other games. From my understanding, I think that's how it used to work anyway. Not sure what it does now. Going to Ramanus Park. It's not where you go to before a collector like me. I already went there actually. Um, the only problem is is that it's not open yet, dude. So might want to chill out. Hip up a toss. Good thing how that turns like I find one of these one of those anytime soon. Sandstream that automatically like, caused the sandstorm when the Pokemon is switched in. Which, because I'm actually Steel Pilly, will not take any damage from that. Bulby. Super effective. Hippocast Fate. Another Hippopotas. He has three Hippopotas. So, what's interesting thing about Hippopotas? Um. Its color is actually kind of like, uh. Um. Like you see where it says brown and then it's like it has like a wet brown spot over its body. The female actually is the exact opposite in terms of color speed. See if he sends out a female. Nope, they're all male. That one might not take that one out though. That one's a bit higher level than the others. Nope, still took it out. You defeat Collector Ivan. You're one enthusiastic trainer. 2,440 for, 2448 for winning. Everything else over this way. Honey tree. Just the house. Yeah. Alright, so that's all I, that's all there is really do here. So we're gonna check the map. We're gonna fly back to Jubilee. We're gonna heal. Thank you, Sir Raptor. And then we're gonna head just outside of Jubilee, so I'm going to actually, actually end the video here. That way yeah, I can kind of just like call the the, get the episode a long, uh, a short detour or a detour, and then we can resume the actual rest of the game during the next video. I always get that mixed up, I gotta stop doing that. Nope, can't go that way. This way.
No. No one made me hear about 218, but nowhere to be seen. Okay, so we're gonna save right here. We're right out, right outside Jube Life. All right, let's do it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.